barbecue and other things. Well, today, I got a package, and I'm going to show you what it is. Now, I bought this myself, and uh, so I can give it an honest review. Uh, you know, it's out of my own pocket. So, uh, let me just let me just show you what I got in. It's open here. Just came in. Got a battery, obviously. What we got in here? So they must have packed a couple of things together in here. We got a Balder. I think that's how you say it. 330 watt lithium battery uh, power station. I don't know what this is. Must be something else I ordered. So this is what I got: a 330 watt power station portable power station. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Chunk of foam. Of course I throw the uh, read before use. Read manual first. Keep away from water and fire. Charge Balder 330 now. Plug your Balder into a wall charge as soon as possible to better fully charge it. Alright. So let's take it out. It has a little handle. I'll bring it up here close so you can see it. So what it has, it has one outlet, uh, like three USB charging points and a type C, uh, and then it has a cigarette lighter, on off, has a light. So yeah, pretty neat, lightweight. And the box, this is probably the power core. Comes what with the cigarette lighter. Some different attachments for it. No idea what those are for. And you have your, oh, I bet I know. This is uh, yeah, this is your uh, power block. And you have your outlet here. And this plugs into there to charge it. This is a car charger. So you can charge it up in the car. And these are just some different... Oh, these are for the solar panel. That's what those are for, a solar panel. You can get a solar panel and charge it up that way. So, yeah. Let's just see. I'm going to hit the power on. It says that it's got 47% right now. There. Kind of neat. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get this plugged in and get it charging. That's pretty neat. It's all uh, unwrapped here. And uh, we'll give it a test. Um, I'll tell you why I went with this. Uh, why I kind of thought this was important. Uh, especially out here at the grill area. Um, my plan is to run my... Uh, you know, my blower fans for like uh, the uh, Weber Smoky Mountains when I'm trying to control the temp of the WSM, I can use this to hook up the fan uh, and control it with this. Uh, it should last six, eight hours for one charge. Let's uh, turn the power back off. See how bright that light is. See, wow, that's pretty bright. Uh, so I got this for a couple reasons. One was for uh, charging, uh, it has a cute uh, charger on the top there so I can set my phone on top and I'll start charging it. So I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, anyway, I got this so that uh, when we're doing uh, competitions, we can run the uh, uh, fan on the uh, smokers. Uh, I don't think this has enough power to run a uh, pellet grill, but it should have enough to keep a fan uh, and monitoring uh, probe system going uh, while uh, we're at a comp. And then um, I also got it mainly for when we are uh, doing our 
oh, cook events um, for pay, like a catering event or a pop-up, I guess is a better way to say it. When we're out doing a pop-up, um, I usually take my big generator. Well, that thing makes so much noise. Um, I think it would be better to have something like this to control my uh, point of sale pay station. I use Square, so I have a Square uh, uh, pay station uh, that runs off power. Um, and I think this will definitely have enough juice to run it uh, just sitting there. Yeah, we'll give it a test out and see how it does. We're usually at an event uh, right now, three to five hours, and this should have enough power with a full charge. Um, I will plan on getting a solar panel for it uh, so we can get it charging also that way too. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna plug it in and let it get fully charged and uh, we'll test it out. Pretty excited about this, Let's see how it does. It's the next day and we have our Balder 330 watt power station all charged up. The first thing we're going to test out on it is our uh, fireboard fan controller for our uh, grills and our smokers. I just have your standard uh, power strip uh, surge protector here. I'm going to plug that in. Let's go ahead and power this on. So we have a powered we have it powered on here. There, that's powered on. And grab our fireboard. So this is a fireboard drive two system right here. Um, I'll have a review on it if you're interested in these kind of things for uh, smokers and barbecues. This is a fan. This is basically a controller. Uh, it holds up to six different probes. Right now I have a uh, pit probe on it. it is, now this only requires one plug. So I'm just gonna plug this in. So, let's see if we got power. Sure, up oh, there it comes on. So we've got it powered on. Uh, We've got our channel temp going there. It really doesn't show any uh, voltage juice there on it, but it is uh, definitely uh, charging, or it's powering this unit. This has a battery charge light. There we go, that's what we want right there. Right now it says zero watts being used. Um, let's see what happens if we take it. Now bear with me, it's been a while since I've, I just got this. I'm not 100% positive on how to use it. Okay, so I've cranked the fan up to 100%. So the fan's running. We're using about four four watts while that's running. You can hear it running there. Got it controlled. 55 is fans coming up to speed. We're at uh, 8 watts, 17 watts, 18 watts. The power being used. So Fan speed is at 95, 96, 97. Just kind of watch what this does. We're at a 100% fan watt here. And this says it's running 12 watts to run this fan at 100%. So this will power my fan and my probes. So it's doing exactly, the fan just shut off. So it's dropped back down. The fan, this thing here will, based on what you say, your temperature will control the fan and have it come on and off as needed for that. So, yeah, 
pretty neat. It will run my fireboard drive. We'll mainly use this for like when we're at comps and I got to control my uh, pit temps. So the fan is coming back on now. I can feel that the motor spinning. And of course our wattage is going up. All right, so we know that, that it works great for that. Let's go ahead and power this off. Power off. Powering down. So this is powered down. We're back down to, well, it says one watt. Let's go ahead and unplug this. So this was one of the items that I wanted to test out, and it works just fine on. Set that aside. The next one will be actually our point of sale station, which is this unit right here. Um, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. That's all good. And then also I have a little receipt printer here that I use on it. Get that plugged in. This is why I have the uh, surge protector or power strip. Because uh, these are all that type of unit. The only other thing I need to do is I need to uh, set it up so I can uh, just see what happens here. Let's get this. Oops. Get that powered on. Okay, let's pull into our uh, pay station site. Stand is connected. Uh, it's showing that we're connected to power. We got that. Um, just take a look, see what our wattage is. Right now it says you and zero wattage. Got a printer hooked up. Let's make sure our printer is connected. There we go, it's powered on. Let's go in here and see if the printer is connected. Settings, hardware, uh, printer, test print. Yeah, test print a page. There we go, it printed out a page for us. So everything is working like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, so it's going to run this just fine. Uh, so when you're sitting out at a uh, pop-up or an event, you can have this just sitting on your table. You could be running your uh, pay station through this, and it should run, you know, four or five hours just like this just fine. Uh, you won't have to have that big heavy-duty uh, generator even at your you know if you're doing a pop-up tent or even in your uh, concession uh, booth trailer or truck this will run your pay station just fine all right so one more thing i want to test and then uh, we'll see how it does all right the big question is does this little 330 watt power station unit have enough power to fire up and run a pellet grill like this one. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take the power cord. See if I can get it. There we go. Let's get it plugged in here. So, it powered uh, the initial power set it's on. Let's go ahead and get it turned on here. Turn it down. We're going to say 240. We'll watch how many watts it's actually using to get this thing going here. Right now it says it's using 159 watts of power to get this thing going. Okay. And about 105 watts. 90%. I can smell smoke, but I can't see it yet. So it's still coming up to temp. Start 
starting to see smoke now. See our grill is at 239, we have a set of 240, so we are that close to being up to temp. Right now it says get that in there, 87%, and the draw is about 31 uh, watts. So we're just gonna let it go. Now it's at the 240. We're just gonna let it go and check it in an hour and see where we're at. So our pellet grill has been running for an hour here and as you can see we're sitting right at 240, 241 is the uh, actual and let's look at this, we're down to 85% charge and it's using about 30, 30 watts, it bounces between 30 and 40 watts uh, just to keep the auger and the fan running uh, but within an hour we lost what, maybe 5% battery on this thing. So we'll just let her keep going for another hour. So we're into hour two here. Rectech is still sitting right at 240. Up here you can see we're down to 76%. Still running about 30 watts. So what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna kick it up. Let's kick it up to 300. So I just changed it to 300. A second once this gets going it's gonna it's gonna kick that furnace and the fan up and we'll just see what it does to the wattage and what it does to the battery life for this next hour okay so we've been running here at 300 for an hour now uh, and let's just check see where we're at we're down to 69 percent and we're still bouncing between oh 30 and 45 watts I would say uh, mainly staying right there around 30 so really not that much more uh, watts being pulled uh, to uh, crank it up to 300 so we'll check back in another hour this is impressive I thought that thing would have drained it real quick and used more wattage okay four hours deep into this uh, two hours at 300 then at 301 at the moment Let's see where we're at up here. 61% battery, running still right there between 30 to 45 watts. And we're down to 60%. We're gonna let it go for another hour. All right, hour number five. Let's see, still sitting right here at 300. Let's check our numbers. So we're at 52% charge and still running right there. 30 to 45-ish on the old watts. Five hours in. Wow. So we've been running this Rectech RT700 pellet smoker for a little over six hours now on this 330 watt power station. We're still sitting at 300. We're down to 48% of battery life. And we're still pulling about 30 to 45 watts. Wow. You know, I'd easily say this thing could go eight hours at 300. You'd probably be down to about 20% battery life, but you can do it. So that, that impresses me. I'm gonna power it down and sit down and talk about this little unit, this little Balder 330 watt power station. So let's talk about this little power bank unit here. So, like I said, this is the Balder 330 watt power station. 
uh, unit. On the front, it's got your uh, DC connectors. Uh, you have your uh, cigarette lighter plug in there, and uh, you have a couple other uh, 12 volt amps connectors there. You've got three USB and one Type C connector that you can charge things with. Then you have one uh, standard household uh, 110 outlet there. This is your uh, charging cord that will charge this unit. And it says that it takes five to seven hours to get a full charge on this unit. Uh, and then, you know, so many different options. It's got a lot of, uh, so many different things it can charge. It has a light on it, the display. Uh, if you hit the button, it'll light up for you, uh, the power button. Right now we're sitting at 48% battery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Okay, it's powered off. And, uh, you know, it's, I would say it's less than 10 pounds. Uh, weight wise, I don't know if the box tells you how much it weighs. Let me put my glasses on. Um, oh, 7.6 pounds is what it says that it weighs. So, yeah, very, very impressive. Um, I had it hooked up to that Rectech for six hours, and that was probably at 95% charge to begin with, and it's now at 48%, and it ran for six hours. I would safely let this run for eight hours, and I think you'd be down, you know, 20, 30 percent of battery left um, charge on this. So I never run. So I think that would run that just fine for a rack of ribs, a pork butt, a hot and fast brisket. Um, yeah, very impressive. My pay station, I said, oh, three, four hours, but I think it would run 10, 12 hours after what it did there on that Rectech under constant strain if you want to call it that and uh, yeah uh, I think 10 12 hours would be no problem for this thing on that my fan I would think probably the same thing 10 12 hours it would run a, a barbecue fan so very very impressive uh, I will let you know later uh, when we actually do use it in the field uh, how well it works but uh, the reason I went with this one is because when I was looking on Amazon um, for the most wattage at budget friendly, this was the one that came up, 330 watts. Uh, there's bigger ones and there's smaller ones. I think this was uh, 240 something and they were running a promotion. I got it for $50 off of that. So it was a little over $200, I believe, is what I ended up paying for it. Um, and uh, I think it's a good investment in for what we're going to use it for. So that's my quick little uh, setup review of the Balder 330 watt rated power station. Uh, it's got a 700 watt surge and uh, then your 330 is like a constant what it would put out um, so that's pretty impressive uh, yeah check them out like I said I will uh, let you know how it works out for us here uh, in real life day-to-day uh, -day use uh, once we get there so like I always say, say like I always say Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative to you. Until next time, my friends, grill on.